Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so listen to me when I tell you that God is so good. I've told you guys time and time again that God will always, always confirm his word to you. So when you feel that God has given you something, whether it be a revelation, a vision, a word, and you're doubting in your mind, okay, is this truly coming from God or is it just my brain uh, wanting this to happen or wishful thinking or whatever, right? How do you always, the Bible says you always have to test the spirits. Test the spirits means exactly that. When you receive a prophecy or some type of revelation, you always have to check back with the word of God. Does it line up? So God will always send some form of confirmation, almost word for word, as to what you had already received. Okay, so that if you're doubting in your spirit, then you know for a fact that it came from God. This video that I just shared with you guys, I, I want to elaborate on it because when I do these duets, I'm muted because I don't want to speak over the, the other person because I want you guys to hear the message. But this is the video that I had just uploaded for you guys and I shared with you guys. It's called The Truth is Coming Out. Okay, so I am going to listen to it again and I'm going to share bits by bits with it. Um for you guys listen the truth is you leveled up and your enemies level down and yes i already know that you forgave these people so she's saying okay listen the truth is that you leveled up and your and, and your enemies leveled down and yes i know that you forgave your enemies blah 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 but but okay. i can only tell you how they are feeling um, and what the Holy Ghost is leading me to say. So she's saying, but I could only tell you what uh, they're feeling and, you know, what the Holy Ghost is leading her to say. You had someone close to you that was listening to lies about you and have really turned against you based off those lies. And so she said you had someone close to you who was listening to lies that your enemies was telling about you. And uh, they were believing them. Listen, now they're feeling like they have been used. So she's saying now they're feeling like they have been used. This is something that was revealed to me even before I heard this message. So this is God's confirmation right here. They are feeling like they have been used by the person that they were looking up to. They are feeling like they have been used by the person that they were looking up to. In other words, they were believing my enemies lies about me. And now this person is like... Oh, damn, this is not lining up. This is not making sense. Like what they're telling me about Monica is just it's not lining up. You know, they looked up to this person and they, in a sense, have trusted this person and making sense. And nothing is adding up because if everything that they were saying about you was true. You nothing is making sense. Not, nothing is adding up about you, because if what they said about you is true, would not be leveling up the way you. You wouldn't be leveling up the way you are. Or, okay, and they see it. They see the level up. They see the favor, okay? And they see the level up. They see the favor of God in my life. I know they do. God showed me this before I saw this message. On the flip side, your enemy's life is going downhill. Okay. On the flip side, my enemy's lives are going downhill. Another confirmation that God showed me. That I thought to myself, mm, maybe it's wishful thinking, you know, because we all want to be redeemed and vindicated and we all want God to do justice for us when we have been unfairly mistreated or whatever, right? Okay. Okay. And everything is, is falling apart, okay? And it's like, it's not adding up. Nothing is adding up. Everything and is falling apart. Nothing is adding up. The person that um, have been listening to the that was listening to those lies about you uh, is looking at your life and then looking at the other person's life, but it's not making sense. It's not making sense. So this person that was told lies about me, they're looking back and they're like, okay, they're comparing my life and that other person's life that was lying on me. And it's not adding up. It's not making sense. Those lies that person has been telling about me is not making sense to the person who once was close to me, you know? And I see God because God showed me, God told me, do you realize how these people, how the people who you felt had maybe betrayed you in some way, shape or form are being drawn back to you because they're seeing the truth about you. They're seeing that you have been truthful and genuine since day one. And they are seeing how they have been misled. 
They have been misled, misguided, and lied about you. So they have been, um, they have been misled and misguided by these uh, evil narcissists, you know, because you will always be a target to the narc. Remember that. It's, it's not making sense to them, okay? Because the truth, you know, is uh, has come to the surface. It's, it's, it's unfolding, okay? Did I not tell you the truth was going to start unfolding little by little? Another confirmation. Her words are like exactly what God showed me. And I've been sharing it with you guys for a while. So you can't say, oh, she's making this up now because, you know, she has this video to back her up. No, I've been saying it even before this video popped up for me. So they really have been feeling like they have been used and lied to. Yep, they were used. Okay, that's that was the end of the video. Isn't that, isn't God amazing? Didn't I tell you that God always does justice? And God always vindicates you. But what, what happens in order for that to take place? What I've been telling you guys all along, you have to let go and let God. Okay? You have to humble yourself. You have to learn how to forgive your enemies. No matter how horrible what they've done to you or all the lies they've told on you, all the manipulation, all the times they've tried to get you, or all the times they've tried to get people... To turn on you, even your close friends, people are seeing the truth now. And God told me, if you hold your peace, you will see my glory. You will see my justice. You will see your vindication come to pass. You will be redeemed. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to say anything because God will handle it. And that's exactly what I did. I have been quiet for so long and you guys are witnesses. Okay, you guys are witnesses to that, that I have been quiet, I have kept to myself, I have held on to my peace, and because I did that, God said, I will vindicate you, I will redeem you, but that's what you have to do, you have to humble yourself and just be silent and let God take control, because at the end of the day, and God showed me this a while back when I had an incident where I had to open my eyes because uh, even though I forgave my enemies, some of them were pretending to be straight with me again and it was all bull and they got caught talking behind my back. And God told me, don't do anything. And I had the proof in my hand to expose them. I had it. Okay. And God told me, don't do anything. Leave it up to me. I will vindicate you. I myself will show the people who this person truly is, who the true genuine people on here are, the true followers of Christ, and who the fakes are. God showed me that, you know? And after years of me trying to handle things in my own hands, uh, you know, by myself, I've learned the hard way that it is pointless. It is pointless. It is better to leave things in the hands of God because once again, you guys, there is no better vindicator than God, okay? Now, these people that were used, they were used, okay, to try and get to me. They were used just so that I could be lied on and... These people were manipulated, but now they're seeing the truth. And God showed me this. God showed me the reason why these people are drawn to you again is because they are seeing the light and they are seeing the truth about you. They are seeing that they that you were lied on, that you were actually right the whole time. You were the one telling the truth. These people are seeing that things are just not adding up. Everything that I've been accused of, if you compare my life to the other person's life who is telling lies on me, person in person, because it's more than one person, but there has been a vicious person who has been uh, after me for a very long time, and I don't have to mention names because God knows who that person is, okay? The person who has been attacking my life because of envy and jealousy and so many things that go very deep, and I'm not going to get into that again, but I'm just trying to prove a point. I left it in God's hands and God vindicated me. And now the people are seeing that person for who they truly are, full of lies, vindictive, manipulative, um, envious, jealous. They covet what I have, they covet everything that has to do with my life, from my looks to the way I act, to the way I talk, to the people 
that I associate with everything. They covet every single thing that has to do with my life. And when I have spoken about this in the past, people have, you know, some people have probably thought, oh, she's all full of herself. Like she thinks everybody wants to be her or whatever. Everybody's jealous and envious of her. And that's why God told me, listen, <laughs> just shut your mouth, hold your peace and let me do it because people will see that you were telling the truth all along. Because when I call things out for what they are, people can't handle the truth, okay? But I call things out as they are. There's no other intention behind it except exposing the truth, okay? You call a zebra a zebra for its stripes. You're not going to call it by any other name. So therefore, yes, jealous, envious people who covet what you have and can't have it. So therefore, God told me, and now he's showing me that he was right. If you just hold your peace and stay quiet about it and stop trying to prove to people that you're the one that's right, that you're not the one that's crazy, okay, that you're the one telling the truth. If you stop trying to convince people, I will make sure to open people's hearts and minds and these enemies will fall into their own trap that they set for you and the people who were blinded by them will see the truth and now they're seeing the truth and what more confirmation than not only seeing this video but the people who have come up to me privately and have told me wow you know what i misjudged you i'm sorry this and that i see the truth i see the manipulation i see you're the one that was telling the truth that other person is just full of lies manipulations schemes behind the scenes that person continues to talk about me behind the scenes uh people have taken screenshots people have recorded these conversations and have told me wow here's the proof yep they still hate you they still envy you they still try to manipulate others to believe lies about you. And wow. And I was like, you know what? Everything I've tried and done in the past never worked. So this time I'm going to do things different with God. And what did I do? And you out there who are out there, you know, I'm telling you the truth because I told you this. You know what? You're right. I'm glad God showed you and opened your eyes. But you know what I, I ask of you? Please don't expose this. Continue to love that person because that's what God would want us to do is pray for our enemies. Continue to show them support even though they think they're fooling you. Even though they think they are fooling you, continue to show them love because that's what God would want us to do. Pray for our enemies. And that's what we have continued to do while this person has been trying to manipulate the whole situation thinking that they are actually fooling my friends. But they have seen the light. They have seen the truth. And this video just served as confirmation to me. Not to you guys. Because you guys already got your confirmation. You already saw the truth for yourselves. But this served as a confirmation from God to me. That I'm not crazy. That I'm not hearing voices. You know, that it wasn't my, my mind wishful thinking. Wanting this vindication. And wanting God to redeem me so bad. God is like, here it is. Here it is. You're not crazy. You did hear from me. And because you held your peace, because you dropped the drama and you forgave your enemies, I have vindicated you. And now people are seeing the truth. So, and the truth shall set you free, my friends. <laughs> God bless you all.